Hello everyone, this is Ashima, your Faculty for Current Affairs on Guidely. In this video, we'll be talking about something uh, or a compilation basically. It's a compilation for all the rankings and indexes which were released in April 2021. So all the important indexes of April 2021, important points have been discussed in this video. And the important points, before we begin on the video, I would like, I'll be uh, telling you about what points to look forward to in any index which you see. So first of all, you need to know that who released the index. Very important. Second of all, who topped the index. Third, how many total countries were there. Fourth is uh, which was the bottom ranked country and fifth if India is also involved then rank of India in that index. These are the points which you are not supposed to leave at any cost. Apart from that there are certain other points also which can vary from index to index because there are certain uniqueness in every index. So on basis of that there might be certain things but apart from that these are a few points that you always need to look forward to. Now let's begin the discussion. The first index we are going to talk about is Gender Gap Report 2021. If we talk about this report, let me just change the ink color. Alright, now first of all, who released this index? Since I told you, first thing you look forward to is who released that index. So this report was released by World Economic Forum or WEF. World Economic Forum released this index in which there were a total of one... 56 countries, 156 countries were there in total, out of which India stood at 140 and top rank was held by Iceland in this. If we talk about the least or the bottom most rank, that was of Afghanistan in this. So, uh, if we talk about topping the ranking, that means Iceland has the most gender equality in the country. Whereas if we talk about least performing, that is, it has the maximum gender gap, that is Afghanistan. Here you also need to remember that Iceland has got this position for the 12th time in row. That is, till date for 12 times, Iceland has been ranked as the most gender equal country in the world. If we talk about India, last year India was ranked at 112. This year we have dropped to 140 or we have slipped to 28 points. It's a difference of 28 points in India or we have dropped to 28 points. Right? Alright. And if we talk about how many times this index has been released, so on that terms, we can say this is the 15th edition of this report uh, or this report was published for uh, 15th time this year. If we talk about headquarters of World Economic Forum, that is going to be in Colony, Switzerland. In Colony, in Switzerland, we have headquarters of World Economic Forum. Going ahead to the next report, that is Inclusive Internet Index. This was released by Economist Intelligence Unit along with Facebook. Both these organizations had together released this index. Furthermore, in this index, what you need to know is who has topped the index, that is going to be Sweden. What was rank of India? 49. And we shared this rank with Thailand, that being that Thailand was also ranked one. Uh, Thailand was also ranked at 49th position, right? Apart from that, these uh, how many total countries were ranked in this index? There were about 120 countries which were ranked totally in this. That represents to about 98 percent of global GDP being represented in this index. How many parameters were there that were measured in this? So if we talk about parameters, there were four parameters on the basis of which this index was prepared availability affordability relevance and readiness right then we have world press freedom index now this uh, was released by rsf or reporters sans federation which in english translates to reporters without borders so abbreviation is rsf whereas full form is reporters without borders in english language right then how many total countries were there in this? If we look at the total number of countries, there were 180 countries which were ranked in this, right? And in this top rank was held by Norway, whereas bottom most or 180th rank was held by Eritrea. If we have a look at rank of India, it was constant as last year. That is last year also we were at 142 and this year also we stood at the rank of 142. Right, Norway has 
top this index for the fifth consecutive year this time so for the fifth time now norway is the most press freedom country or it provides the most freedom to any press as of now as per compared to any other country then how many parameters were there there were six parameters on the basis of which this report was published by rss right now next we have is global energy transition index 2021 which was released by world economic forum along with accenture so both these organizations had together prepared this index in which all the energy demand improvements in that coal demand everything was measured in this index how many total countries were ranked a total of 115 countries were ranked in this index what was the rank of India out of those? It was 87. Which country had topped the index? It was topped by Sweden. So top rank holder, India's rank, we have already taken a look at. Total countries, there were 115 which were ranked. Expected growth of coal demand of India is at 9% as per this report. Right, so if we'll have a look at expected uh, increase in coal demand of India, that is approximately 9%. Next, which we have is Trends in World Military Expenditure 2020, which is released by CIPRI. Now, what does CIPRI stand for or what is the full form of CIPRI? That also you need to know as well as what are the rankings that are there in this. That is also important, right? So, uh, why is uh, abbreviation important? Because they can ask you from abbreviation, what does a particular uh, letter stand for? What does CIPRI stand for? That is S stands for Stockholm, I stands for International, P stands for Peace, R stands for Research and I stands for Institute. So, Stockholm International Peace Research Institute is CIPRI. According to this uh, ranking, USA is the top most military spender in the world with approximately 778 billion US dollars expenditure on military. Right. Then second rank holder was China in this and third rank holder was India. How much has India spent on military? That is 72.9 billion US dollars. That was the expenditure of India in military. If we have a look at total military spending of 2020. So in 2020, how much total expenditure have we done? According to this report, it is 19 81 billion US dollars. That is the expenditure of global level or world level expenditure. Right? The top five countries comprised about 62% of expenditure on military. Right? So, with this, we have covered all the major indexes that were released recently. I hope this video has helped you in a recap of all of these events. For more such videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Also, don't forget to share the video to as many people as you find it is going to benefit. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead, all of you, and stay safe.